Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you where wind energy is used. Well, first of all, there's two ways of looking at it. And if you're American, and if you're America watching this, you'll find that you're only second. And this is because this is the amount of energy actually produced in the country. But the top energy user in terms of percentage of the energy produced altogether is actually Denmark. And uh, Europe is actually very high on the proportion of wind energy used. The biggest users, some of the biggest users, here we've got the United States second, fourth India and China fifth. Actually the biggest producer of wind energy is Germany. But because the country is big it's only a small proportion. So overall you can see that wind energy depends obviously on the geography of the country. If you think of a country like Denmark, which is basically low, it doesn't have a lot of hills and mountains, it's got a long coastline, and around that coastline you get a lot of wind. So wind energy is very effective in Denmark. Also, there's not large distances to take the energy from the coast. So that's a great advantage. Spain and Portugal at 9%, Again, large countries and large areas where there is emptiness, and emptiness which is quite windy, and therefore it's an efficient way to generate energy rather than transport fossil fuels. Germany, also a large country, very varied. The proportion is not so big because, of course, it has other resources. It's got rivers. It's got a huge amount of uh, resources like coal, and therefore it still has only 6%. The Republic of Ireland is an interesting one. Ireland is developing all the time, and obviously the idea of developing uh, renewable energy in Ireland is a very good one. It has a good coastline. It is a windy place, a wet place, but it's a beautiful country. Okay, so basically that describes roughly where wind energy is used geographically and in what proportion.